Okay, this is the HVAC indoor air handler. Some people call it the furnace or the heater. Call it what you will. But here we are, and this is the closet. It's in front of the laundry area. And um, there's our main disconnect. I do not see a care and use manual. Now, on your air conditioning equipment, it needs to be registered I think within seven days so that the manufacturer is confident that the indoor air handler matches the air circulation system matches systems matches the condensing unit so all those things are important and that's why you need to get the if for your extended warranty now inside of this closet okay this is all draft stopping that's why we bothered to put the mastic up there. That's why we bothered to put the mastic up there. That's why we bothered to put the mastic around here. This is all draft stock. But if we look a little farther and we get around here, okay, you see those gaps? See these gaps? Okay, that compromises the draft stopping. We, we, we cared about the draft stopping up here, but now we've got it over there and the tape is coming loose. And then we come over here. Draft stopping there, there, there. So, you know, it was important. We, we put it on the tape, we put it on the bedding, we put it on all of our penetrations. See, it's important enough to go around the piping. Then it, wouldn't it be just as important over here? Wouldn't it be? Coming on along, we see that the unit was manufactured about a year and a half ago. This is a 410A system. That's the refrigerant that goes through your cooling system. And that product, they have a lot of it in inventory. They got a lot of it in stock. But by the way, they no longer manufacture R410A in the United States. They no longer import it in the United States so you know as time goes on this stuff is going to become more expensive and because of the cost you want your extended warranty that's why you want all that paperwork filled out it's it's imperative that you get this done I cannot see a care and use manual your main disconnect switch this is the heater we're going to find out if it works we're in the air conditioning mode right now we're going to move to air conditioning this is your safety switch this is your secondary drain line you can see that's a little higher and this is your primary drain line it's making a lot of noise isn't it that's your vacuum breaker so that would be your clean out so your clean out would be on the wrong side of this pipe this P-trap is too shallow. We've got a shallow P-trap, and then we've got the um, vent pipe is supposed to be open, which it is. See, that's open. This pipe is supposed to be closed, and this pipe is supposed to be on this side of the P-trap. That's your clean out. That's your vent. You got a deep, this shallow P-trap. Shallow P-trap means the water is flowing through there. Self cleaning if you will the water just shoots down there whoosh like on a roller coaster so you hear it echoing is because this is never filled up it's because it's self-cleaning if you have a deeper p trap it will fill up full of water and you won't hear it gurgling like that or i take that back you will hear it gurgling just not like that and this is the air filter the air filter is at the unit right here these one inch air filter should be clean, changed every month. It's a 16 by 20. And there's our air filter right there. It should be cleaned once a month. Where's our air return? That's our air return right there. Okay, well, we're going to take a look here in a little bit. We're going to see if we've got a pan underneath there. 